Hello guys, it's Tati. Um, welcome back to my channel. Maybe you're new, and if you're new, hi. Um, today, I'm going to be teaching you three popular TikTok blur effects that you may see in velocity edits. This is actually pretty easy to do, but if you're a beginner or you just don't know anything about blurs, then I hope this helps somehow because... I just hope it helps. Okay, so the way that I use these blurs, um, I use BCC and the Sapphire plugin, which I'll link in the description how you can get those for both Windows and Mac. But yeah. So if this is for TikTok and you're doing like the normal general velocity style, you want to make sure that all your clips have Twixter on them. Then I just pre-compose. We're going to look up exposure. I don't use brightness. This is just to make the clip like super bright. I don't like using brightness. I usually put exposure at 2. Sometimes it's not enough or you know, you just kind of make it as much as you want. So next we're going to go to BCC Lens Blur OBS or OBS and just put that on your clip. I usually put iris scale to about 35. For the first keyframe is going to be 35 and then for the gamma <laughs> I usually put, I usually make it super bright. I usually do a thousand but you don't keyframe this part. You only keyframe iris scale. And then for your second keyframe of iris scale, you're going to put zero. I feel like I kind of explained that in a very messy manner. And I'm so sorry. <laughs> so then you're just going to keyframe it like you would with anything else. But you don't want to mess with the graph too much. So now what I would do is I would just copy and paste these settings onto the next clips. And that would be your TikTok edit. I suggest having good Twixter. That would definitely help you. <laughs> So now we're going to move on to our next blur, which will be directional blur. I keep the exposure settings that I had for the other ones, which is 2 to 0. So for directional blur, I also use the BCC plugin, but guess what? There is one where you don't need the plugin. Now, I don't really know if it makes a difference in quality or anything, so you can try and apply the same steps, you know, even Sapphire has directional blur, but I'm going to use BCC. So we have all these settings that we can mess around with, but you only need to pay attention to these first two, blur amount and angle. So, so first you want to find what angle you want the direction of the blur to come from and so right now it's at 90 which is to the side mostly on tiktok you find the blur coming from the top so you would just put that to zero and then for your first keyframe for blur amount you would do something like 40 some people do 80 i'll stick with 40 that part is entirely up to you so for your last keyframe of the clip it'll be zero and then you go to do your graph once again the graph doesn't have to be anything special, at least not in my opinion. You just really have to play around. Yeah, you just play around. <laughs> so now we're going to do the last blur, which is just a basic blur. And I use Sapphire for this. I use S blur. Um, no reason in particular. That's just what I've learned to use. I don't really know. So once again, keep the brightness or exposure, whatever you're using. First keyframe, I usually make about 60. And then for the last keyframe, it's going to be zero. For TikTok edits, I really don't think you need to do anything too crazy. And then same concept. Your graph is just, you know, nothing too fancy. And so after that, you can add shakes. You can add more exposure you can add pretty effects it just depends on what you want to do my job here is done i've taught you what i said i was going to as far as tiktok quality i can't help you there because i literally don't know if you want to watch this edit with sound you can go to my instagram where i posted it as a reel thank you for watching maybe you can consider subscribing or following my instagram or maybe you could do both that would be great see you next time question mark <laughs> okay